A statement from Louis de Broglie, Nobel Laureate, April 25th, 1978. The history of science teaches that the greatest advances in the scientific domain have been achieved by bold thinkers who have perceived new and fruitful approaches that others fail to notice. If one had taken the ideas of these scientific geniuses who have been the promoters of science and submitted them to committees of specialists, there is no doubt that the latter would have viewed them as extravagant and would have discarded them for the very reason of their originality and profundity. As a matter of fact, the battles waged, for example, by Fresnel and Pasteur, suffice to prove that some of these pioneers ran into a lack of understanding from the side of eminent scholars which they had to fight with vigor before emerging as the winners. More recently, in the domain of theoretical physics, of which I can speak with knowledge, the magnificent novel conception of Lorenz and Planck, and particularly Einstein, also clashed with the incomprehension of eminent scientists. The new ideas here triumphed, but in proportion as the organization of research becomes more rigid, the danger increases that new and fruitful ideas will be unable to develop freely. Let us state in a few words the conclusion to be drawn from the foregoing. While, by the very force of circumstances, research and teaching are weighted down by administrative structures and financial concerns, and by the heavy armature of strict regulations and planning, it becomes more indispensable than ever to produce or to prefer, pre, preserve the freedom of scientific research and the freedom of initiative for the original investigators because these freedoms have always been and always will remain the most fertile sources for the grand process of science. That's pretty good. What he's saying is that you have these large organizations that get so big and they become so bureaucratic that what happens is that the little guys with the new fresh ideas in the world get ignored and crushed with the weight of bureaucracies. As well, when you have so many people who claim to be experts in the thousands and you have a new idea come up, Guess what happens to that uh, new idea when you have thousands of experts who say it's impossible? Nothing. The uh, little voice, the little person, gets crushed under the weight of a giant bureaucracy. So, basically what we have here is a huge problem. Either we fix the bureaucracies of science, or we continue on the path of making grand mistakes and wasting billions of dollars on experiments that are going to have no useful uh, results. Like the LHC. Nothing is useful come out, has come out of that to date. Nothing. They're going to do the same with the ITER, the ITER, the International Thermonuclear uh, Research Initiative or something like that. They're going to build this giant torus shaped reactor that's supposedly going to be a fusion reactor they're wasting billions of dollars on that but in the name of you know the bureaucratic institutions which they're being built by that's the whole point they don't care about science anymore they care about the bottom line today is also february 5th 2016 i will link this to the bottom of the page